demo time. Got it. Earn your corn now, yeah? If that's, <laughs> if that's, if that's all right. Cool. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, Cromwell pl plays a very varied game. That's why he is one of the best scrum halves in the world. That's why he did so well down on that, uh, you know, British and Irish Lions trip as well. Um, but I've, I've picked quite a specific part of the scrum half game, trying to get into a little bit of detail about the box kick and the scenarios. Not that the technically how you kick the ball, but maybe why you kick the ball in certain scenarios. So yep. I, I'm going to ask you to maybe talk through a couple of ideas. We've set up, <clears throat> we've set up the, the, the two demo te teams here. Uh, a little bit of a messy ruck or maybe a collapsed maul. We see a lot of it in defence, five, ten yards from the line. Exit strategy is so crucial. Uh, uh, Thomas O'Leary, give us your thoughts. Uh, that what are you thinking as a rugby player here under that sort of pressure? We're five, ten yards from our line. First thing is obviously the defensive line is going to be set. Um, so I do not want to probably pass it back to my ten. He's going to have all sorts of heat coming on top of him. The ten, twelve, seven, maybe shooting out of line to him. So because a lot of players do use the, the fly half because yeah. it, it's a difficult kick. Exactly, and then you're passing it five, ten yards backwards for him to kick. Whereas if you can kick here, you can get that extra distance, take pressure off him. So, so you get yourself, get yourself in there. Get yourself in there, Thomas. Go on. Wind back the, uh, the moments so, under all that pressure. So first thing I'm looking at is obviously where's the ball. Um, <laughs> if the ball was over this side of the rock, I wouldn't be happy with it because I'm, I'm a right footer. So the ball's in, pretty much in the centre of the rock, so that's grand for me. So I'm OK with that. So now I'm looking at the rock. It's a pretty, pretty narrow rock, so the back foot of the rock is pretty close to me. If it's a longer rock, you know, then I've, I've more, more scope for kicking. There, it's not as much pressure on me. So this situation here, I'm looking at, they've obviously got a man on the, on the edge looking to block me down. So if, if you can see, I, I wouldn't be happy to kick in this scenario because he's going to put too much heat in me. You can see if I go to pick the ball out and take a kick, he's straight on top of me. So I won't kick in that scenario. So if we're, if we're like this, I'm going to call a forward call, in. Call one of the big units in. Put, put Look in, how fast he's Put him in the there. side of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So immediately he's in the side of the rock. He's taking his space, so that man cannot come forward onto my kick. And so now all I've got to do is deal with is he's putting his hands up, so I want to get the ball over him. So that's what I'm concentrating on now. My, my blocker's in place. So the next thing now, the ball is inside the rock, so I'm going to have to get back. I'm going to have to take a step back to get some space to kick. So first thing I'm taking, one step back and then kick in. You can see buy, I have more space. Buy yourself a little bit of time exactly. in here so you don't get... I brought in Ugo here because the winger is so crucial. There we go, on the communication, because you know, the nine has got all his eyes down in here. What's, you know, what are you telling the scrum half? Absolutely. The ruck's so competitive, you know, he might be dealing with loose balls, all the rest of it, so just be an extra set of eyes for Tomás there. So just be talking to him as the position of the winger, where he might be. If he's too deep, we might just be a little bit cheeky, or just be like, Tomás, he's too deep, and Tomás could just like, put in just a little attacking kick into there, just into that space. But I would like to relieve as much pressure as I can off Tomás just by talking. OK, because so I know we're a little bit... I mean, this is vast, this, this space, and we've gone through maybe two or three different options, but really, really nice insight. Thanks very much for that.